up guys it's JP Shaw back with a, uh, another video I know I haven't been taking videos for a while I've just been really really busy um, well actually it's been yeah ever since summertime anyways um, I got my uh, tractor I'm a tractor running um, this here is a uh, mid 90s MTD um, I'm not exactly sure what it originally was because I actually threw the hood and stuff away because it just kept falling off and it is a piece of junk anyway. Um, it's got a, a 18 horsepower Vanguard V-Twin on it. Um, then it has the uh, burner racing lights which are fairly bright. I mean, I, they're okay. I'm I'm not a big fan of them. I did have off-roading lights on there before, but it drained my battery so much that it actually shorted out one of the cells in the battery, and I was actually riding one day, and it blew up. Um, I rewired this, so there's no, no more safety switches. Um, I kind of have to tie this up properly. I kind of have to tie that up properly. I mean, I ran out of zip ties, so... But yeah, now there's no hood, lights, and of course two switches on and off, and hit that and starts it, and I have my light switch right there. Uh, it's a seven speed very drive with high and low range. I put a heavier clutch spring on it, so it grabs. Um, I actually swapped the uh, Turf Masters off of this, and they were 23 by 9.5 by 12s. I think, and I swapped those with 24 by 8 by 12 um, swamp lights, Interco swamp lights. I actually got the idea from a fearless front in one of his videos whenever he put those tires on his Sears Suburban. Now I just need to find tires for the front of this thing because it does not want to turn at all. I actually have an exhaust mod that I'm actually going to try out. I'm going to try and uh, turn those headers around so that they come out the side over here. Um, I actually took one of these off yesterday and um, found out it won't fit because this piece off the frame is sticking up too far. So I got to cut a notch in that and then run it out with one inch piping and then I'm gonna put like a uh, bigger two inch pipe somewhere in there so it's like I'll make it in duels so I get a better sound but uh, yeah it doesn't run too bad for being a v-twin I mean has a lot of power, it's just I don't like that very drive. Not too, too bad. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to get a GoPro or something like that so I can mount it on my tractor. Um, I actually have a tack um, piece to hold a tack on here, but I can, I, I'm having trouble figuring out how to set the tack up for this particular engine. I've seen on YouTube hooking into one of the kill wires, but I I don't know if it actually works or not. I haven't really had time to mess with it. Um, this is actually the attack I was going to put on it. Small Sun Pro, Super Tech too. Um, But yeah, if anybody has any idea on how to set that up, just uh, leave it in the comment section below. 
Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try and get riding videos and stuff like that out of it. It actually does pretty well in mud. I mean, I've had it clear up to here, and a lot of people don't like the very drives for the, the uh, mud and stuff like that. But I honestly have not had a problem with it. Yeah, it bogs down a little bit, but it gets me from point A to point B. I'm trying to look for another tractor, like an older 90s Murray with a 5-speed in it, so I can do a pulley swap on it, because I can't really do much with this. So this is basically just like a crawler type. So, but yeah, that's my, that's my tractor. Um, like and favorite, and uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.